We are in uncertain times, and during these times, many folks are doing what? Leaning on family to find support. But those who have aged out of the foster care system and have nowhere to turn, well, that's simply not an option. Here now is one woman's story. My name is Jeanette Rivera. I'm 22 years old, and I'm from Harlem, New York. When I was three months old, my mom died from AIDS, and my dad died from a drug overdose. So I went into foster care, and I was from foster care from 14 to 21 years old. I was in a lot of foster homes and group homes and bouncing from place to place. There's times where you have disagreements, misunderstandings with some of the foster parents, and you you have to stick on the train, you have to sleep in the park, you have to try to bathe in the hospital, try to find any place for shelter. I found out I was pregnant when I was 17 years old. I remember telling my foster mother and she kicked me out. I was homeless and pregnant, I didn't know where to go. I want everybody to understand the struggles that us youth face being in the system. Our children deserve a better system, they deserve better support systems, they deserve better guidance so that they can be better people in this world, so that they can have a better shot at having an amazing future. And we are joined now by Jeanette Rivera and board member of CASA, Sherelle Starr. Thank you both for being with us. Jeanette, I want to start with you. This, this pandemic seems to make uh, just about every problem we have a little worse. It exacerbates issues. And one thing you talked about is that there is a lack of support for children aging out of the foster care system system. How is the pandemic actually making that worse? The pandemic is actually making it harder for us because we don't have a lot of outlets anymore. We don't have a lot of resources. We don't have a lot of places to turn to like we used to back then before the pandemic. It's making it really rough because it's so scary. There's no safe place to go. Like, we're all terrified, especially as a parent. I'm scared for my kids, for my own safety. It's, it's a lot. It's very nerve-wracking at this time. And, Sherelle, tell me a little bit about the work that CASA is doing in supporting, uh, supporting these young people, but also how your experience, uh, of your own personal experience, is now informing the work that you do. Sure. Well, CASA stands for Court Appointed Special Advocates, and you can think of them as volunteer role models, volunteer, you know, just positive adults, mentors who help youth from, you know, when they're babies all the way to when they age out of care, just being that, again, a positive adult reinforcement for them to help get the things that they need while they're in foster care. And CASA is an incredible organization. And me, myself, I spent, you know, a number of years, a number of my childhood years in foster care, bouncing around from home to home. I was in six different schools in six different years and you know I was lucky I was reunified with my mom um, I ended up going to college I ended up having a great mm -hmm. career after foster care but I was really lucky and youth in care shouldn't have to depend on luck because they're already vulnerable they're some of the most vulnerable people in our society and they should have to depend on luck to live positive lives and, and tell me about the push Sherelle and I know this is something you've talked about and you, that should be pushed for maybe it's not talked about enough but a moratorium right now during the pandemic there's moratoriums on actual rent and evictions right now now, should there be one for young people aging out? You shouldn't be able to age out of foster care during this pandemic. You absolutely should not be able to age out of foster care during this pandemic. And, and on average year, about 50% of foster care youth end up homeless within 18 months of aging out. So now it's even worse. And there are moratoriums. Eight different states and the uh, and District of Columbia, D.C., Washington, D.C., has passed moratoriums for aging out, meaning that they have suspended aging out in those areas. But a majority of the country has not. That means <laughs> most of the country, most of the states that are watching right now, youth are still aging out and aging out into homelessness and ending ending up on the streets and there is legisl legislation right now um, the supporting foster youth and families through the pandemic act um, but it is it is um, stalled right now because everything is stalled in Congress and the House and hey, Jeanette I want to wrap with you here if you can just button this up for me uh, the idea sometimes unfortunately that foster kids uh, there's an idea unfortunately people have sometimes that there's some kind of it, it's their fault they're in the position they're in or there's some, some kind of problem child of some kind would you, can you can you please address that and something you, maybe you would want people to know about foster kids yes definitely i just want everyone to know that no child asks to be abused no child asks to be put in dangerous predicaments where they have to be removed from their loved ones and their families we didn't ask to be in the system we didn't ask for these things we need to be treated as regular children are treated when they're home with their families we're no different we're human beings just like everyone else
All right, Jeanette, thank you so much for that. Jeanette Rivera and thank Cheryl you. Starr, really appreciate both of you being here. Certainly yeah. the work that you're doing and the advocacy that you're doing right now and just putting yourselves out there and sharing your own personal story. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.